So this is my Google search console and my site has been added on here as a property. And now I can see different data points on my site, which can help me improve my SEO so people can find my site. Today, I'll show you the easiest way to add your site to Google search console as well as Google Analytics, because trust me, you need both. So what's the difference? Google Analytics helps you understand how your website is performing with your visitors, like how much time they're spending on different pages, what are they clicking, how are they moving around, real-time traffic data, and so on. Basically, it will help you answer questions like, are your visitors actually liking your site? How close are you to converting your traffic into a purchase? And other such insights to help you improve your site and get more conversions. On the other hand, Google Search Console is like a detective that helps you understand how visible your site is in Google search results. But that's not all. It's also a tool that helps you detect and fix any errors on your site that might be hampering its ability to be visible. So it's basically like a Swiss army knife for maintaining a properly functioning and visible presence in Google search results. But here's the catch. Google Analytics and Search Console might seem like they're giving you mixed signals sometimes. They aggregate data differently, so their reports might look a bit off from each other. But it's not a glitch in the matrix. They're just two different tools with two different lenses on looking at your website. One looks inside out and the other is looking outside in. And I'll show you how to set up both and connect your site to them. All right, the first step before we set up any of these accounts is to make sure our site speed is above 90 on Google page speed. Otherwise, all our data will be flawed because the visitors will behave differently than they would have if our site was actually normal. Let's go and add your website to Google page speed. And if the score we receive is less than 90, then it means that our site is already too slow. And we need to fix this before we do anything else. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. They've built successful plugins before, so you can trust they know their stuff. After installing Airlift, you just need to add your site and with one click, it does everything needed to make your site up to three times faster and get a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here and it's free. So you can keep it activated to keep your site fast. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. All right, now let's go to Google and search for Google Search Console. Now this is the link we click on and come here. Let's click on Start Now. Now you'll arrive here at the Search Console page and you have two options, Domain Search and URL Search. Let's go ahead and use the URL search because that's easier. Now let's come back to our site, copy the URL and come back and paste it. Now the verification process will start, which can take a few seconds and then you'll see this pop up. So now it's time to verify your site. You have a few different ways to do that. You can download the HTML file and add it to your website or add an HTML meta tag or use Google Analytics, Tag Manager, or your DNS records. The easiest one is the HTML meta tag because it doesn't require any coding. So I'll just show you how that one works. Click on the HTML tag and go ahead and copy this text. Now let's go back to our site. Now we need to add this code to the header of our site and we're gonna use a free plugin for it. So let's go to plugins, add new plugin and search for WP code. Here it is, install and then activate it. Now come down to code snippets over here. Click on add snippets. On this page, you'll see this add your custom code option. This is where we're going to add the verification meta tag. So let's just go back, copy the verification code, then come back and type in a name for your snippet like this. Then go down to the code preview and paste the verification code. That's it. Now let me just scroll down and show you how the settings should look. Don't change any of the default settings here. Just scroll back up to the top. And on the top right corner, you'll see that the snippet is inactive. So activate it and then click save snippet. All right, now let's go back to our Google search console. Click on verify. And after a few seconds, your site is verified and connected to Google like this. Now let's go here and click on property. All right, now this is your Google search console. Click on start. Now you can see the information about your site's performance, indexing, site experience, and enhancement on the dashboard. And to your left, you have tons of more features. Now, it will take one or two days for the stats to be updated. So we can come back to this page later. Now, let's learn how to use the Google Search Console for a website SEO. Let's add a sitemap first to get started. So here is my sitemap. Copy the URL and over here under sitemaps, paste it under add new sitemap. Submit it. And once you submit, you should see success. So let's go over to performance. And as you can see, there's a lot of metrics here already about clicks, impressions, CTR, and my search position online. Down here, you'll see the top performing search terms for the site. And you can use this to decide which keywords to use. You can also see which pages are popular. 
and then create powerful landing pages. There's a bunch more metrics here. You can narrow or broaden your search by editing the dates like this. And Google Search Console shows you the user's page experience. These three main metrics are tracked. The higher the numbers, the better the performance. One more important report for SEO is links. Here you'll be able to see which websites link back to your site pages and their ranking. You'll also see which top sites you link out to. You can find the top linking text, which should give you a fair idea about which keywords actually generate traction. Now, I'll show you how to set up a Google Analytics account as well and connect your site to it. So let's go here and type Google Analytics. Now click the first link and it will take you to this page. So go here, click on this. Now here you'll need to provide an account name. Next, you'll need to configure the data sharing settings. This controls which data you're gonna share with Google. So we can keep them as they are and click next. Now we can add the first property. So property name here refers to a website name. And here you'll need to enter a name for this property. This could be something like my business website or whatever. Uh, you can select the reporting time zone and currency. And these settings will affect how your data is reported. So click next, select your industry, your business size. Now create if you're setting up a new account and accept the terms of service. Now our second step is to connect our website to this Google Analytics account, for which we need to install a free plugin on our website. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard, then go to plugins, add new, and then search for a plugin called Sidekick by Google. It's a free plugin. Now let's install and activate this, then click startup, which will take you to this page, and then sign into your Google account. Then click allow. Now let's go to our dashboard, click on connect service, click configure, and that's it. Our Google Analytics is now connected to our website, which means it will start tracking our website data. So after a couple of days, this area will get filled. Now, for example, look at our website's details here. You can see the number of users who have visited a site and more data like this. Also, in this three minute video, I'm showing you how to triple your site speed for free using our new speed plugin. So you're gonna really thank me for this. Do check it out and I'm gonna see you there.